All right, coding fans, here we are at Stacking Blocks. Um, let's go ahead and look at what they have for us already. It says, all right, add the two remaining quarter coordinates. So here's another way that we can deal with our, our um, arrays is we could have an array of specific coordinates. So we've got variable block locations, um, and that means that we want, it's a variable, so we want to be able to kind of edit this and change this. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. We've got column zero, row zero, and then, so we have a, a, a coordinate. And th notice this one's capital coordinate, um, and that's because it is a place on the map as designated by column zero, row, whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but we go column and its coordinates, comma, return, coordinate column and its coordinates, comma, return. So that is zero, zero, and three, three. So we need to put blocks at three, zero, and zero, three. So we want capital coordinate to reference it in our block locations array. We want parentheses, and then we're gonna put our parameters in our parentheses of column. So column three, row zero. And then here is where I forget to do what I'm supposed to do. So coordinate column, three, row zero, and then I need comma, and then I hit return to come back down. All right, and then coordinate, parentheses, and then, so we've got zero, zero, three, 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 zero, and now I need zero, three. All right, so I have all those quarters. Zero, zero, so that's this one, zero, zero, coordinate three, three, coordinate three, zero, and coordinate zero, three. Okay, and this says place five blocks at each coordinate. So we're gonna to need to place those at our coordinates. So for coordinate, in this array name, okay, so in our block locations, so at the coordinates in our block locations, we are going to, uh, we need to place five blocks. So that's a for loop. Okay, so one through five. All right, and then this is kind of our difference. This right here is a for in loop dealing with the array that we have just um, talked about. This is a for loop dealing with a number of times we're going to do something. So the number of times we're going to do something is five, and I want to world.place block. All right, and then we come through with place, and notice it's a little bit weird. We've got at coordinate and not at column, row, whatever. All right, and that's because we've already we're referencing a coordinate uh, of an, or an array of coordinates. So we've already dis established our coordinates. So we're going to world dot place a block at lowercase coordinate. We need this to match the array name. You could call it squid for all it matters. Um, and it would still work because that is our array name. Coordinate makes more sense because that's kind of what we're doing. But I'll show you that in a second. So we build, we build fast, and there we've got it. Now, like I said, if I change this and I say, all right, let's, we're going to call it squid. It's Q U I D. All right, so for the squid in the block locations, I need the world.place block wherever squid is. Right? And we could run it again and it would do the exact same thing. All right, so we can name our for in loop whatever we want. However, we just kind of want to make it uh, the name that we will best understand what's going on. Anyway, so that's how we get the check mark on that one. All right, I'll see you on the next one.